bunch of tarot, and this is your March reading. So let's see what's coming up. We'll get five cards, and then we will clarify and pull two bonus cards. <clears throat> Four Virgos for March. <clears throat> Losing my voice. It's getting late. Um, I've been doing readings, trying to get these completed, and every message has been completely different. It's amazing. I'm loving it. If you want my info to book a private reading, it is below. My website is atouchoftarot.com, and I also have another out outlet called Wizio for quick readings. We're getting some majors here, which are beautiful ones. And let's see what's at the bottom. Okay. So, Virgo, what's going on here? Something is definitely over, okay? And uh, there's no need to stress is what I'm getting. It's time to really release it. I have to see what this other nine is, the nine of, once you release this, you get to go to your, you get to your wish that much quicker, even though you are actually already heading there. Hi, everyone. I didn't um, mean to come on here live, but it's okay. I'm going to keep it up here and I'm going to take it down after. So, Virgo, let's go with the first energy we have, and it's Ten of Wands. Um, this is really about releasing something. This is something you've been working on for a very long time. It could be some sort of commitment that you're in as well, but whatever it is, it has been extremely burdensome, and I'm also getting aging, so it's aged you. Um, I'm not saying like tremendously or anything, but it's been so hard on your body, like on your body, mind, and soul is what I'm getting. So you're ready to just drop it. It's really weird. It's like you're kind of doing it alone, you know? Like, where is this person? Where exactly are they? They're in the middle of nowhere. It looks like there's nothing surrounding them, um, but there is a path, you know? There is hope, too, and there is... You can take it, make a choice to go somewhere else, and that's exactly what's happening with the chariot. There's going to be moving away from something that was very turmoilous and um, stressful for you, Virgo, Okay, and there will be a reward that comes from this as well. Um, it can be in the new beginning because we do have the Ace of Wands here. An amazing opportunity to be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take the action. Um, do what you're passionate about. You could have been working or just in a situation that you couldn't stand. And I really feel like it was getting to you, to your, the depths of your soul. Um, and like taking your spark. But you're moving away from it, and it looks like there's this brand new beginning. You're no longer afraid of this moving away, and, I mean, it's looking great here. I'm seeing 6-9, because I know it's the chariot energy there um, with the yin-yang, but it's, like, literally 6-9. So I don't know if that is relevant to someone there. Um, so with the world, yeah, it's a closing of one cycle so that you can literally race ahead into the next Virgo. Um, passionate confidence charismatic, restless, events requiring immediate attention, trust your instincts, stay focused, a passionate relationship. You might be leaving a situation to get to a passionate relationship. Like something may have sparked something in you, even with the chariot here. And I'm not saying you're leaving a relationship. It could be anything that you were trying to hang on to, even like work or something that I don't know where the heck this person is. It's very confusing because they are literally, I think they are confused. I think you were confused, Virgo. I think you were lost in your mind because you're like, what am I doing here? I don't know where I'm going because I'm not, you weren't maybe decisive. Um, you put something on hold here. So you really could be going to this new cycle and um, getting into this passionate relationship. This could be someone who's been on your mind for so long, but for some reason, you weren't making the move. Okay, Virgo, so let's clarify this <clears throat> and see what's happening. Because I don't know if it was you that was stressed out or the other person, like waiting for you to finally um, realize, you know? Yeah, holy smoly. Yeah, okay. So let's take these cards. Hold on. Let me just get this one. That's, I'm just going to take the one on the top. Ace of Wands energy. Yep. And the World energy. Full card. You got to love it when those two cards are there. Hi, guys. Sorry, I didn't. Oh, hi. I didn't mean to go live right now. So I'm going to take that off after. I'm just completing the signs. I'm going to have them posted tomorrow. 
I guess I'm getting tired. You're my second last sign, but it's okay. Hang out. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely moving away from something that's stressing you. And this is very unisex. I'm not going to be calling like some of the readings I did. I knew exactly male or female. It's just someone here who is lost in their mind because they're not doing anything. Um, Virgo, I really feel that this could be you that was stagnant, but it's not going to last long because now we're going to the completion of the 10 of wands and then we're moving forward. And let me see what the 10 of wands is associated to in this deck. So the 10 of wands in this deck is associated to the devil. So you really could have been hanging on to a relationship, whatever it was, it was very unfulfilling, toxic and unhealthy is what I get. Um, and you will be breaking free from that. But we know that already, especially with the chariot here. So I feel like you're contemplating possibly many directions you can take from this. But remember, I do feel like there's someone waiting for you. I'm seeing two aces here. Um, but this could be, I feel like this, Virgo, for you, even though it does talk about a relationship. And yes, sure, you could be heading back to a relationship. I just feel like this is this is more about you getting out of an unhealthy, toxic lifestyle. And I don't feel like it's about drugs or alcohol or anything like that. I feel it's about you. It's like maybe you were being a janitor when you're a scientific expert of like some rare something or other. You know what I mean? So you weren't living your dream. So of course you're not going to be with your partner that makes you happy because if you're with someone that made you happy, you probably would be going after your dream. So I feel here like there's options. Um, maybe for some of you, you were drinking at this time. Maybe you were seriously, because this person's pouring out the drink, um, but there's opportunities Virgo. So I do feel with the chariot and the four of pentacles, this is not your typical four of pentacles. This is someone that is getting offers, um, you know, come work for us, come work for us. Maybe you really are not working at your full potential or where you could fully be compensated properly for the knowledge and expertise you have. I mean, this is supposed to be love, but you're the second reading now that's coming up with both. Uh, Libra also had this mix. Um, okay, here. So yeah, you know, you're dropping these toxic behaviors because you're getting this youthful energy back. Once you move out of this, it's like you become your old self or your your truth, something like that, right? And you drop like this toxic behavior, but there once again is more options right in front of you. It's like maybe like the devil dangling things right in front of you because this card is associated, not the chariot, the ten of wands is associated to the devil. Um, and by the way, the ace of wands is associated to the fool card. Okay, so that's about a new beginning for real. Now we have the world card. This is also about this happening this year. And this is about a cycle ending that you were hanging on to with that 10 of wands devil card, but you're going to be letting it go. I think you're, you were just taking a, a last sniff of the rose. I felt like I saw one rose here, but I didn't because there's nothing here in the, in the world of nothingness that you were kind of trapping yourself in. Um, but there is a new beginning that's coming out of this. Let's just see what this says. Uh, be proud of yourself, a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want. I just get that success energy. You're going to be very successful once you get out of this other energy. And the last, well, not the last, second last card here, we do have the Knight of Wands. And this is definitely my energy of like bolting. So being right next to the world it's like sayonara. I am out of that past situation. It's like once you get out, you don't look back. And that is the Knight of Wands that came out to clarify what you're going to be doing. Um, and with the King of Swords, you're following your truth. If you're taking your power back, you're not in janitor mode anymore. And nothing wrong with anyone that's a janitor. It's a very respected, needed job. I'm just saying, like, it sucks for people that are janitors. And there's so many out there that are probably trained to be doctors in another country or something. But because... They're not where they're from. They have to, you know, either go through the doctor course again or be a janitor type of thing. So there you go. Um, look at this. We got double nine of swords here. Clarified. I didn't even realize that. But definitely with the eight of swords underneath this, you are breaking free of something. Look at this. Underneath that, I'm seeing the page of, or is it page? No. Ace of pentacles. So it is about walking down a new path and getting financially compensated as well. Okay, is there anything else I need to see here? Let me see what this card 
um, is related to, and the XV is the devil. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Maybe I did mention that. That's the, so you got two devil here. And all the devil energy has to do with you being in your head. Okay. And that is very, very interesting. And the eight of swords is right. Um, is associated with the hangman in this deck. I love this deck. It's really an awesome deck. Sorry, I don't have the name of it right now, but I highly recommend it if you're looking to um, get a deck because it has a different associations with the cards. So it tells you the deeper association. Okay, card for you and a card for possibly someone else or, you know, because right here, this message is mostly for you specifically. Whoa, but look, at you have a companionship coming in. So you really are going to be heading towards this passionate relationship. Interesting. Someone you were afraid, I think, to go towards. Okay, so we have one energy here, the destroyer. Now, whether this be the situation you're leaving or what had to happen to that situation, it is the tower card energy. And this is about releasing what is potentially destructive and preparing for a new life. And yeah, it is so destructive to stay in the janitor position when you're meant to be a scientist or whatever you're meant to be. Okay, that's what I'm going to refer to that situation there as. Um, and we have companion. I personally feel like this is saying this is what you're going towards with the world card, leaving this shitty situation. And you're going towards something um, that you may have been afraid of, but it's something you've always known you had to go towards. And let's just say it just has to do with business. Fine. You're going to have this new relationship in business that you're going to be very... Um, happy with okay but this talks about loyalty tendency tennessee tennessee tensity so i'm like tennessee tennessee so it's tensity but i don't usually actually uh, use that word, word so i'm not fully um, connected with that and unselfishness i see tennessee is about caring gestures okay i get it um and unselfishness so wherever you're going it's like night and day okay Virgo, thank you so much. Sorry, guys, that I had this on public. I am going to take this down now, um, and I'll be posting it, reposting it tomorrow with all the other signs. I thank you so much for joining me.